Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Corley and today I present to you this rainbow makeup look inspired by Jess, uh, Leah? Jess Leah? Wait, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, let me just pull her up. I will put the image next to me. I'm inspired by this look that was done by Jess Leah Makeup uh, on, on Instagram. And I just, it's so, it's so cool. Like it's so, mm, I just, it's so colorful and it's a rainbow look, which I've been meaning to do like a rainbow look for a while. Also, I'm using new lashes, which I'm not too satisfied with. So excuse me if they look like extra wonky. I'm, I just, I really don't know what's wrong with them. Like, I don't know. I really try to make these work and they didn't. Also, I didn't, I did not do my lower lash line because I didn't care to do it, so. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys want to see how to achieve this recreation look, then please, by all means, keep on watching. <laughs> okay guys, so I have one eye done off camera and what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to start by priming using my Maybelline Better Skin Super Stay Concealer in the shade 20 Light. As we apply the concealer, we're gonna wait for it to be less tacky, so I'm gonna tap it in with my finger and then go in back with my beauty blender so I can really blend it out and make sure that it's gonna set a little before we add the eyeshadow. As I already told you guys in the intro, I'm gonna be recreating Jess Leah makeup, makeup look, and um, so uh, we're gonna go right in the top lash line so um i believe in her bio she said uh, in her bio in her caption she said that she used the 35b palette we're gonna first go in with the orange we are gonna use a tiny little brush like this one to really pack it into our crease Then I'm gonna take this little Real Techniques. I need to, I need to get better at this. This little Real Techniques base shadow brush. It's basically like washed out of the brush. I'm just gonna blend out the edges. Now what I'm gonna do for a while is take the orange, I'm gonna blend out the edges almost up to my brow bone with the um, yellow and then I'm gonna go back with the orange, strengthen it, go back with the yellow and I'm just gonna go back and forth to make sure that all of these shades are just really gonna match together very well. So I'm gonna take this, um, this yellow. When I'm done building up the yellow as well as the orange, I'm gonna go in with the red. Ugh, sorry. We're gonna just go in with the red here. I'm gonna take this little oval brush from Simple Glam Girls. You can use my code Coco Beauty for 20% off. Um, and I'm gonna place the red in my crease with it. Now taking the same red, I'm gonna go pack it on my inner and outer corner because we're gonna start to create the halo eye effect. Now I'm gonna take the super bright pink and I'm gonna pack it. Well, I you guys should look because I don't know quite how I'm gonna. I'm gonna place it right here, in between the bare part of the halo eye and the 
the red we put down. For um, the cut part of the lid, I'm going to set it with a white shadow. So I'm going to take the white again from the Morphe palette and I'm simply going to pack it on to my lid. We're also going to prime using the Benefit Professional. Before I do my foundation and everything that goes with it, I'm just gonna simply clean up right below my eye because I'm not gonna put the same shades I put on top. So I just feel like cleaning up a little. Not nothing major, but just clean cleaning up a little will just help. For foundation, I'm gonna take my ABH stick foundation in the shade Golden. For concealer, I'll be taking the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Pure Beige. I'm gonna put it under my eyes and on the high points of my face. And then I'm gonna set it with the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. To set my face, I'll be taking the Maybelline Super Stay Bare Skin Face Powder. Now that we're done with the under eye concealer and the face, we're going to do the lower lash line. And I'm actually looking at a reference picture, so please don't hate me. But um, we're going to start... I'm gonna start with purple. So for purple, I'm gonna take this shade right here. Now, she went pretty heavy on her lower lash lines. So I'm gonna do the same thing on mine. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a purple to blue to green um gradient so um i'm gonna use this blue and uh, this green right here i am actually gonna go in with a little bit of concealer because the green is not showing up as pigmented as i want it to be and i'm just gonna pat it where uh i patted the green and i'm gonna pat the green on top of it just gonna go ahead and buff everything out on my lower lash line and um this is what it's supposed to look like I'm assuming that Jess doesn't have the same type of eye shape as I do because her lower lash line goes very low and should I just take mine there I mean you won't know before you try it am I right because I just feel like if I take mine low it's gonna be too low but let's try but yeah, this is as good as it's gonna get for the um <laughs> it's as good as it's gonna get for the lower lash line. I'm just not that like lower lash liney. I don't know if that's a thing, but yeah. 
for blush, I'll be taking my NYX blush in the shade Summer. Ooh. This blush is super pigmented, be careful. For inner corner highlight as well as all over the face glow, I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. Um, if Jess has done a particular lip with this look, I didn't see it. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my Maybelline lipstick in raw chocolate and put my Wet n Wild 903C lipstick in the center of my lips to give my mouth a little more of a pouty look. I'm gonna apply the Ardell um, Faux Mink 812 lashes and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I'm done doing this um, makeup. I just applied the lashes and um, honestly, I'm feeling it. It's a cute like rainbow moment. This little part here, I don't know what happened girl, but the rest I'm feeling. So um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, comment in the comment section down below other video suggestions or things that you'd like to see me do. If you like me, my personality, or the content I put up on YouTube, then feel totally free to subscribe to this channel. Oh, grr, oh grr. We would absolutely love for you to join us. We are super nice, empowering, close to 100 subscribers, so you might just want to get with the good team you know what i mean uh also don't forget to follow me on all my social media such as instagram snapchat twitter my snapchat snapco will be right there even though i know a lot of people don't mess with snapchat no more if you do feel free to send a screenshot if you don't just like you know you know you know it's it's over anyways <laughs> We, we can all complain all we want, but I don't believe that Snapchat is going to change much. And if they do, then we'll be happy, I guess. You know? You know. Perfect. I will have all the links to my other social media in the description bar below so you guys can check me out. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I truly do appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video.